Nerd Alert! Here we have a first look at the BlackBerry 10 OS on the BlackBerry Z10. As you swipe your finger up from the bottom, you'll see that the screen disappears below your finger. This allows you to easily check your notifications or what's going on in your active frames. If you slide up from the bottom to merely check your notifications, you can slide back down to put the phone into standby mode. I'll show that here. A full swipe halfway up the screen will wake up your phone. Here at the home screen, you have active frames. You can run up to eight simultaneous applications at the same time. They're not widgets, they're not live tiles, they're simply the minimized application, much like you'd have on your home desktop. If you, a swipe to the right brings in the classic iPhone made popular app tray. And here you can simply launch apps. Down here is a nice neat scroller that lets you slide in between all these pages really fast. On page one, a swipe to the left will bring you back to your centralized action frame center. Swipe over to the left and it brings you into BlackBerry Hub. What's neat about BlackBerry Hub is it lives intrinsically on the device, no matter where you are. I'm over on page four and I swipe up and to the right and I'm in the BlackBerry Hub. A swipe up in the OS usually brings you home and it lets you peek at incoming notifications. You see there I have a BBM. A drop down brings me back to where I am. Ultimately, if I want to enter the hub and act upon a notification based on the LED or sound, I swipe up and to the right and I'm in the hub. The hub pretty much is your aggregation center for the phone. It does calls, voicemail, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and then your own email accounts as well as text messages and it acts as your notification center. Within the hub you really get quick access to all your communications and can respond to them like that. Anywhere you are. If you're in the music application, you simply swipe up to the right and you're in the hub. Let's explore some of BlackBerry 10's native applications. The browser is very noteworthy. It supports pinch to zoom and has a side column here with multiple selection options. Homepage, bookmarks, history, new tab, and your new tabs will exist right below this one right here. You can scroll through them as you can see here. Over here you've got some awesome settings, a download section, information about the site if the site permits, an add to home screen, bookmark, reader, and all the kinds of things you expect from a modern smartphone. The share feature is nice and it's built throughout the OS. You simply click to share and it allows you to share to all of these accounts. Again, you can peek at your notifications by sliding up, enter to the hub by continuing the gesture to the right, or regress right back into the app. A simple flick up will put it into its active frame. And of course, it's got all the things you'd expect, Facebook, and that all, all that kind of functionality, as well as Twitter, which lets you explore your social networks. It's a slick little operating system.